my name is Benjamin Z. Miller, Benjamin Z. Miller, and today I am going to answer the question that someone asked. This is a new real estate investor, and they have a question about a subject to purchase. This is when you purchase a property, but you don't pay the seller's mortgage off. The seller agrees to leave the debt in their name. So the question is, isn't a subject to purchase illegal since the bank loan is not being paid off? Well, good question. Someone wants to know, hey, is that illegal? Is that bank fraud? What is that? Well, great question. Before I answer it, and this is so important, first, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this video. It is just so important that you like and subscribe. Well, good question. The answer is no. No, it is not illegal to purchase an asset subject to someone else's financing. The seller signed an agreement with the lender. And you are not a party to that agreement unless you sign some agreement with the seller's bank concerning the mortgage note. And I'm pretty sure you're not on the seller's mortgage note. The fact that you made an offer to purchase the seller's asset subject to the existing financing that is already in place is not an illegal action on your part. It is a free country. You can make an offer. It also is not illegal action on the seller's part. Sellers have the right to sell their property. It's their property. It's not the bank's property. They can sell it if they want to sell it. Now, if the seller transfers title and they do not pay the loan off, the lender theoretically, theoretically the lender could call the loan due and ask that the loan be paid off in full. Yeah, the lender could do that. But you know what? Not one lender in 100 will do this, if not one lender in 1,000. Lenders don't actually call loans due where someone is making the payments. They have many loans not making the payments at all that keep them far too busy to even think about the situation where someone else is making another person's mortgage payments. Banks have a lot of loans and even the loans where someone stops making the payments can take months, if not years before the loan actually goes into foreclosure. So the fact that you are making someone else's mortgage payment on their loan is not going to be a problem. It is an imaginary fear that many investors have and also some sellers have. If the bank decides to call the loan due, then just replace the loan. It's not the end of the world. It's not impossible. Just call up a hundred lenders and replace the loan. This is more work, but most this is more work, but most lenders are going to be too busy to complain about someone else paying their borrower's mortgage payment. That's like the last thing they're going to do. You know, a good starting point for you or for someone watching this video would be to get more education. If you would like to learn more about investing and other related topics, just go to www.benjaminzmeller.com. Go to www.benjaminzmeller.com. If you would like to meet more investors and lenders, you can also go to the free Sunday weekly meeting held each Sunday on Zoom for Benjamin Z. Meller's Investor Networking Group. Or you can go to Meetup. Go to Meetup and look for Benjamin Z. Miller. I hope that helps and good luck with your investing.